Sure. Side. 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 Good girl. Straighten up. Straighten up. Good. Speak. Good. On your feet. Back up. Back, back, back. Good. Stay. Get on your mark. Stay. Uh, on your feet. Stay. Speak. 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 Attack. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> from the actors. That's where you come in. All we need to set up the scene is to meet our animal co-star from the movie Garfield. This is Fletcher. Hi, sausage dog. Now backstage, we have a huge pile of clothing. Anything you might want to wear. We have hats, jacket pants, shirt, shoes, socks, maybe even a hat. All I want you to do is stay in your seat, but lean over and tell Fletcher, who is paying very close attention right now, Fletcher. <laughs> hi, what? Hi. Ooh, hi, there you are. <laughs> All I want you to do is lean over and tell him two articles of clothing, okay? Tell him exactly what you want him to bring out. Pleasure. Pleasure. There's your actor, dude. Pay attention to him. One more. All right, Fletcher, he's going to race back there and get that first article of clothing. Now he's digging around through that great big pile, taking direction from our actor, and he brought you a hat. Did you ask for a hat? Yeah. Great, folks, he got the first one right. What a smart sausage you are. Okay, he's going to race back there and get that second item. Now once he gets the first one right, he never misses the second one. I think it's going to be another 100% show. As long as you go. Oh you asked for this? show. Shame on you. <laughs> you know what? Stand up. On your feet. Good. Give a big wave to all your Hollywood fans. Good. And sit. Good boy. There's your treat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't look so excited. You're doing such a good job. I'm going to keep you around for another seat. Take a walk with me. Part of our job as animal trainers is to help our animals overcome challenging obstacles that they may encounter on a movie set. They have to go over things, around things, and through things. We're going to show you how we get through those obstacles by having a little race. So let's bring out our competitors. They are Dexter and Tyson. Before we get started, we're going to need some cheering. <laughs> we're going to need some cheering. <laughs> Look at that really expensive prop. <laughs> All right, we're gonna need some cheering sections. Everybody on this half of the arena, you'll be cheering for the shaggy brown dog, that's Dexter. You may recognize Dexter from the movie Hotel for Dogs. Let's see how loud you can get. Let's hear a practice cheer for Team Dexter. Not bad, everybody on this half, you'll be cheering for the white and tan dog, that's Tyson. You may recognize Tyson from Beverly Hills Chihuahua. You know what to do. Let's hear a practice cheer for Team Tyson. One by one, our dogs are going to run, jump over our human hurdle, negotiate these slalom poles, blaze through the polka dotted tunnel, jump back over our hurdle, and ring that really expensive bell to stop the clock. Now, it's very important to remember the louder you guys cheer, the faster your dog will go. The bell is in put. Oh, Dave's going to hold the bell. Okay, Team Dexter, you're up first. On your mark, get set, go! It's still rang, even though it's broken. That's cool. It's like a 
a miracle or something. I don't know, Team Tyson, you guys think you could beat that? Yeah. Let's find out. Team Tyson, on your mark, get set, go! Boys and girls, 